Let's move on to the queue of angry women who would like to testify that you sexually abused them. How are you any different from Harvey Weinstein? Nobody likes a pussyfoot and self-abuser loser like Harvey Weinstein, whereas a pussy-grabbing party panty-puncher like me wins every time. Donald loves women, and they all love Donald, except the ones that hate him. And I mean they really hate him. How do you feel about Stormy Daniels getting the freedom of Hollywood? Watch my lips. Stormy who? Just a storm in a decoy. It's a bit odd paying $130,000 if nothing happened. Tell me about the Miss USA and Miss Teen USA pageants. I had the best time, and so did the contestants. You used to walk into their changing rooms during the Miss Teen USA contest whilst they were getting into their bikinis. You made them feel very uncomfortable. I had to check for cheating. I couldn't tolerate false boobs or any ladyboys getting through to the finals. No lady boys ever had the opportunity to win Miss Teen USA, and it's all thanks to my husband, Donald J. Trump. Isn't she great? She fantastic. Somebody tried to make Melancholia look a fool. Melancholia is not a fool. She can order cappuccino in ten languages. Let Michelle Obama try that one for size. That's 11 languages now. I learned to do it in North Korea yesterday. As I was saying, somebody tried to make Melancholia look a fool when she spoke word for word three sections that were lifted from Michelle Obama's speech. Listen, I've seen the Obama birth certificates. They're fake. The Obamas were born in Africa, where they take drugs and talk to dead people. And how do you think they do that? Somehow... I don't know how they do it. Some kind of voodoo magic. Uh, they see into the future. Um, Michelle Obama saw Melancholia's speech in the future and copied it. There's no other credible explanation. They try to make her look stupid. I know it sounds unbelievable. I know it sounds horrible. The truth is stranger than fact. So you're claiming they practice dark arts. Mike Pence told me there's a piece in the Bible, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, Genesis 22. Thanks to that, thousands of innocent women were burned at the stake. Who are we to question the church? I could make a you're fired joke, but I wouldn't do that because I had tremendous respect for women. It's true. Donald really respects women. Yeah, especially hot ones. Listen, you got to remember, bad things were done on both sides. I think you'd find it was pretty one-sided. On that note, President Trump, thank you. Uh, thank you. And thank you, Melancholia. Goodbye.